Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, you guys can see I have been a little busy, uh, you know, off camera just doing a few things while the night went by. Uh, it didn't really take me too long to build this. And you can kind of see the, uh, the structure I'm going for, the lattice on the floor. That way, when I bring in a bot, the wheels are going to be big enough that they're not going to fall into these little cracks. But the cracks are going to give me extra uh, weight. So that I don't have to, uh, you know, just put blocks in here for the sake of blocks. Now, some of this will actually be ripped up down the road when we kind of figure out what we need to put in here and where we need to put stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the uh, spaces might actually be filled in with, uh, like, batteries instead of these little squares. Uh, doing something along those lines because I do need a lot of batteries. And that's going to make, um, in fact, I think I'll do that from now on. I think I'll just put batteries in here. Uh, it's going to make my bot a little bit of explosive because uh, the bottom's going to be exposed. Maybe I won't do that. I'll, I'll think about that, to be honest, because I really don't want batteries down here on the bottom. Uh, it's going to make it where if I land on rocks or something like that, uh, they're going to be uh, very, very close to already exploding as it is. Now, there is a kind of a cool thing that I noticed in here that when we used to buy stuff, it used to be where you had to wait for um, the thing to show up. So you had to click it the object would fall I'd be able to click it again now I could just punch this thing as, as fast as I want you can see right there in the background uh, it's just uh, compiling right there in fact let me try to give you a better view of it of course it goes through my money really really quickly but you can see it just falls down just sprays out as fast as you can click it that's a nice little addition because it was kind of annoying to have to sit there and wait for another one wait for another one uh, so they are improving this stuff you know they i don't know if they're watching videos or if they're just going through it themselves and seeing what works and what doesn't work uh you know we're taking feedback from the forms probably all of the above but whatever they're doing it's working guys i mean it may take you or make it may take them a little bit longer than you might like it to be but still in the end uh you know they're making fantastic headway with this game and there's just so many things you can do with it you know like building a bot like this i mean i kind of wanted to do one i wanted to do a flying fortress but until i saw how somebody actually did it and it made it possible for me to do it myself uh, i wasn't quite sure how to tackle that to be honest i was kind of pushing it you know back further and further waiting until my skill level got high enough that i might actually be able to do something like this but yeah i just never really messed around with planes enough to really get an idea well enough i should say i guess uh to get this to work because i mean i have done the the planes a little bit sorry guys i'm moving around a little bit but it's actually cold here for a change uh we've gotten cold weather you know houston never really gets that cold but the fact that the whole country out there is pretty hot and then we finally get some cold weather is just kind of weird but i'm i'm very thankful for it i just had to get another blanket though because it's kind of chilly uh in the house because i don't want to use the heater it's never cold i want to enjoy it um but yeah, I mean, with the, with the bot itself, it is one of those things where when I tried doing the helicopter, for example, and if you guys go back and watch that episode, it was way, way, way back on some of the earlier stages. So the game has probably changed dramatically in the way that, uh, you know, the planes work and stuff like that. But for me, it was a really cool experience because when I tried doing it, just the slightest tip in the scale of the weight affected the bot so much that you quite literally could not do anything with uh, what it had unless you went back and like redesigned it. everything had to be symmetrical everything had to be uh, you know exactly how it was on the other side otherwise the thing was just really really uh, you know off center and would pull incredibly hard to the right or the left and it'd take a nosedive if it was too heavy in the front or it would fly straight up in the sky and then come back on itself if it was too heavy in the back um, so yeah, almost unflyable unless you're just a really, really good pilot and you know how to uh, compensate for it, which is not exactly something you want to design into an airplane. Like, it's okay, I guess, if that happens when it's damaged and you lose a few pieces and it gets difficult for you to actually fly the plane with it, but do you really want it to be that difficult just taking it off the ground uh, from the scratch, you know, like when it's working completely fine? Because if it does take damage... It's going to be one of those things where it's going to get even harder for you to move that thing around. Maybe impossible, and all your hard work's going to come crashing in a giant uh, fireball of of just, like, doom. You know, like, you're not going to be happy when that day comes around that the whole thing is just laying in pieces. Now, I do believe there is supposed to be a way to save it. I think you can, like, uh, take a snapshot, a picture of it or something like that, and that is supposed to uh, save it for you and 
then you can buy the the whole thing done uh, you know after the fact um, from then on if you guys know exactly how to do that definitely leave that down in the comments because before we take this vehicle up I need to save it so that if it does get destroyed um, we don't lose all our hard work and I will be moving over to my new computer pretty soon and I want to you know take this with me and so I need to uh, have it where it can be transferable as well so that is uh, definitely something that um, I am looking forward to because as you guys may have already seen several times when we get to a certain limit the computer uh, and the game itself just doesn't seem to want to go any way any further beyond that and I understand that I mean you know there's only so much a computer can handle there's only so much a game can be programmed to handle as well and when you exceed that you know you're, you're gonna run into issues I've seen it in pretty much every game I've ever played at one point or another it's just a common occurrence that happens but with that said not exactly something that I would enjoy and something I do kinda wanna fix at a certain point so that's uh, you know one of the things I'm looking forward to is upgrading to that and I will actually have a new mic which I don't know if I'm gonna like yet now I've tried the new mic out before I I like the sound but it, it makes my voice sound a little different so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys you will have to let me know if you like the new sound or not if not um, I don't really know what to say on that one because the old mic that I have the headset when I plug it into the new computer it actually makes like this staticky noise like it's just not very good of a mic um, and the new computer just doesn't filter out any of that noise without giving you that like robotic tingy noise when it does the auto filter with the the new mic that I'm getting um, it doesn't do that at all and it sounds beautiful and it's a really good mic it's a RE20 if you guys have know anything holy crap I was pulling that towards me I let go for half a second and uh, yeah I think that's over in another country now that thing really took off that was something that used to happen way back in the day uh, when you would move items around and you'd get a little bit of lag I'm hoping that little bug is not creeping back up into this game because that one was fairly annoying when it happened um, it's cool to see every once in a while and it's, it's kinda interesting to see it go flying off in another direction uh, but yeah even even with that coolness uh, not looking forward to that one that that was a rough time back in in those uh, you know old days before they kinda perfected all this stuff and you can see the last block that I need is that one way over there in the distance can I get it no it's too far away dang it that was the last I actually had it exactly to the down to the last one of which blocks I need to use so now let's see can I can I actually drag that why I'm in this I can holy crap I did not know I could do that I can actually move this thing around a little bit while I'm in here now it used to be once you're in this build or buying mode screen you couldn't move anything around like you could see the stuff behind your bot but uh, that was the extent of what you could do now I'm probably gonna run out of cash here I'm gonna have to go and uh, save up and get a little bit more money before uh, we can really progress with this any further but until we do run out of money I'm gonna go ahead and put everything down where it needs to be um, that's gonna be pretty good though I mean I, I'm liking the, the way this is coming along and the actual coloring of it you know like it's it's kinda cool to do the venture ones in there and I, the reason I thought of using the venture is the GSO ones uh, they're giving it structure they're giving it strength because there's so many of them and you know it's connecting all of these pieces together so even if I lose a piece on the side there's enough lines here going from side to side that the whole thing is not gonna bust into pieces you know and then these are just giving it even more support so that if just a piece of this is busted out in the middle because I land on a big rock it won't bust off even more than that like it's just gonna shatter a few things here and there if I put repair bubbles in here which is uh, you know definitely an idea of something I might be able to try because repair bubbles they don't explode per se they do explode just like every other block but they don't uh, do it like a battery does at least I've never seen it explode like a battery so having them down here on the bottom where it might be a little dangerous for them to be is not something that's going to cause my bot to explode in just a fiery uh, destruction you know like that's something I could live with and I might try that just to give it that extra support down here on the bottom where it really really needs it shield generators down here on the bottom probably not gonna be a thing unless I'm getting attacked every so often when I'm landing then maybe I'll put a few of them in here but uh, you can't protect yourself from a landing or at least a hard landing from a shield generator that's it does does not incorporate that kind of uh, protection in there I do have this mission log at the top which I can't quite figure out what it wants me to do there also is a new change if I just left click on the bot over here in the distance 
um, I can just uh, take over. It used to be you had to double click on it and sometimes you actually had to find the actual cab that you had to click on and then double click on that. But uh, now you don't have to do that anymore. So that's kind of an interesting little turn of events there. I, I kind of like that. But it does make while you're building these things a little difficult. Because I was over here and I had my bot just parked right next to it. And believe it or not, this bot did not take off on its own. So it was doing very, very well doing what it was doing. Uh, just kind of sitting there. So they may have fixed that as well, guys. They may <coughs> Sorry, guys. They may have uh, finally got the bots to work how they're supposed to when you tell them to idle or go off harvesting or something along those lines. But every time I clicked on this other one, and you can see right there, I just left-clicked it once. Not double-clicked it. I didn't click on the cab. Just left-clicked it once, and it automatically transferred me over. It was getting kind of annoying because what I was doing was I was coming in here and buying stuff from the Payload Studio Terminal. And because apparently this this little window is transparent it also is clickable through when you click to buy an object as you can see right here I'll click uh, when I when I change it up there I'll click to buy an object it automatically switched me over and that was at first I was like what am I doing wrong am I am I doing something in the window is it causing a, a you know malfunction of some sort no it's it's just the simple fact that uh, it's transparent and you're, you're clicking on the bot just once I don't I, I mean I like it because it's simple but I think that might be an issue, just clicking once. You might need to do a double click to make sure that people are not switching over when they really, really didn't mean for it to happen. Uh, let's see. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to fight some more of these guys just to uh, see if we can get some better loot out of them because their shields all are, are fully charged. And then off camera, I'm probably going to go back and see if I can uh, build up a little bit of cash because uh, to do that... Because I have no money to buy the pieces that I need, unless I find them over here, to uh, to build up the cash. Look at that! Every like 15 or 20 seconds, it it pauses, lags out for, for just a a hair, and it's been doing that ever since the patch. So I don't know if it's I don't know I don't know what that is. Oh crap! I got two guys on me. Yeah, well, thankfully I do got my shields up and I got my repair bubble on, so we should be fine. Let me go ahead and bump into this jerk back here and see if uh, that might drive him off. <laughs> nope, nope, we are going to... Uh... Oh, there we go. Somebody's blowing up. No, 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 go forward, go forward, go forward, get away. He's going to blow. There's batteries that I'm shooting right there. Holy crap, look at that. Lost a lot of light when he died. So this other bot has almost no light on him. He doesn't have any shields, though, which is good for me, but the armor does actually seem to be ab absorbing a lot of the damage that I'm dealing to them. So, yeah, I, I think finally they may have fixed that a little bit to where it's actually worth it to use. Let me see if I can turn around. Oh, there we go, a little bit more lag. I'm not a fan of that at all. But yeah, all the pieces that I need to, uh, to make money, whether it's just picking up the pieces that are on the ground and selling them, or actually going out and harvesting and then selling it to one of those uh, terminals, I, I don't have any of them. Uh, and I should have brought a few with me. I just didn't think I'd run out of money. I purposely went out and got a, just tons and tons of cash so that when I came over here, I wouldn't run out of any of them. Uh, here's a four block. We already have that. There's a three. Um, actually, I don't think we had a four block. So now we should have access to the four block. I'm going to add that there just in case, and I'll toss it back down. Hopefully, we have that now. What else do we have over here? Anything good? Man, it's really hard to see out here in the dark. Another battery? Well, we'll definitely take the battery. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, when I went back to my base to park that giant freaking bot that we had created uh, next to the wall to uh, recharge, it was nighttime. And so it recharged all night. And uh, about halfway through the night, it stopped recharging because of the wall itself ran out of power. That is how... And the, and the batteries on the bot were about halfway charged up so all those batteries and you know I'll go back at some point and show you that if my frame rate can ever get past one over there uh, because it is just tons of blocks now I mean it's filthy I mean there's they're destroying stuff non-stop while I'm gone and when I show up every inch of the ground is completely and totally covered by blocks right now and so that's adding lag and then of course the bots alone that I've built just cause lag themselves so yeah long double driller because this is a simple bot probably from the beginning days that uh, you would probably find right off the bat and be
be like, oh yeah, I finally got some pieces. Um, but nothing fantastic. Nothing I really, really need. This guy, on the other hand, might actually have something pretty good. My shields are holding up. Of course, it's pausing there again. This is what it's been doing all day. Um, hopefully, when I restart it and come back in in a few days, uh, this will not be a thing. And that's usually why I try to give it a few days after a patch before I do a couple of videos. Because, uh, you know, they usually fix things that... Well, I mean, if there's anything wrong to fix, they, they usually do that pretty quickly. If it's, uh, you know, an issue that a lot of people are running into. Here we go. We're doing a little bit of damage to him. Oh, there we go. Hit, hit his power. Hit his power. There we go. Oh, no. Are you going to do it? A little bit, little bit right there on the side. Come on, get the battery. Get the battery. Get the battery. I don't need him anymore. I just want him to explode. Now, uh, somebody did mention to me. There it is right there on the front. That's where the cabs are. Somebody did mention to me that you can tell exactly what the item is based off of the color that it gives when it explodes. Certain ones will explode green, other ones will explode red, and so you can tell the item that way. It used to be that case. Uh, I remember, you know, talking about that in one of my episodes. I didn't know that they brought that back because for a while it just seemed like everything was red. And now it seems like there's a few things that are green as well. I'm going to put that light on there just real quick, make sure I have access to that. Anything else? Mm, no, not really. A few items out here I could pick up and harvest if I had the ability to do so, but I don't. Uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take you guys back to where I have my base. Now, we're not going to get quite there because as we get closer and closer, you're going to see the lag dramatically increases. And I just wanted to show you that because I'm not making this up when I tell you. What is there on the ground that I'm running over? I back up. There's absolutely nothing there unless it's stuck underneath my bot. It's, uh, it won't even go up in the sky. Oh, yeah, there's something underneath there. Huh. That's that's weird. How to will like that? Oh, there's something else underneath there, isn't there? What is? Look at it. You can see it. Oh, look at that. Did it just lay an egg? It just laid a will. That is exactly what that looked like. It just did. It literally just popped out of its caboose, and that's kind of disturbing. Don't know what's causing it to pull that stuff into it. I don't think I have any uh, any tractor pads in there, so it's something pulling in. Maybe I have a receiver in there or something. I don't know. We'll have to look at that and see uh, what the case is. But you can see no lag right now. Absolutely beautiful. Very smooth. Uh, of course, we're really far away from pretty much anything that I have out here. So all you're really rendering are the trees and the rocks and the occasional bot that happens to be out here along with the bot that I have, which is very, very small. It's not going to cause any lag for you at this stage. Uh, even a little bit bigger, it won't cause you any lag. They kind of fixed that and got better with it. But we're heading in the direction of my base right now. And not only do I have one bot over there, not two bots, not three, not four. I have a total of seven bots over here, different sizes. Two of them are massive, bigger bots than I've ever created in my gameplay of this uh, series so far. That's how big those guys are. The other ones are a toss-up. There it is, lagging out again there for a second. Uh, is a toss-up between um, medium size to smaller size. And again, I try to stick with the smaller size ones. Uh, for a while there because I just never really got to experiment with those. Uh, you know, there was always this big rush for me to get to the Geocore ones because that's what a lot of people like to see. Uh, that's when things get interesting because you can go with really giant bots, put a whole bunch of shield and solar reactors on them. Uh, you can get a whole bunch of batteries of different sizes. Um, you know, just have like this whole working base in the middle of your bot and opens up worlds of possibilities, especially once you start making your own stuff. Or collecting it for money and just going to town on whatever your new design is and you can see right there in the distance it's starting to render those objects and somebody somebody mentioned that it was a great uh, slideshow that is exactly what this looks like it looks like a slideshow because I'm getting about three frames per second right now guys three three frames per second from going from about 30 to 50 frames per second just a second ago and uh, yeah it's it's massive over here guys just crap everywhere it does seem like some of the stuff has started to despawn, so that is a thing, apparently. It didn't seem like it was for a very long time, but there is less stuff over here now than there was earlier. Maybe it's because I have so many things on the ground and around the, the area that it just doesn't know how to, uh, you know, render it all. So maybe some of this stuff is still here, it's just not showing up, or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I kind of hate showing you this because it really is pretty night nightmarish with all the lag, but just wanted to show you that you can crash the game if you go too big. 
And this wall over here, thankfully, is... Uh, get out of my way, dude. What is, what is your problem? This guy came over here and ran me earlier and then left as soon as I needed him. But, yeah, that's kind of annoying. But this thing right here is lag central because tons of uh, repair bubbles and sh you know shield generators throw in all these batteries and all the little you know lightning strikes and uh, it just becomes a nightmare to be in this area but i want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy these videos uh, be sure to hit that like button subscribe it uh, definitely helps grow the channel and i greatly appreciate it guys i also want to uh you know encourage you guys to leave comments down below i love it when you guys reply back and let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do an escort. I don't know what that means, but we're going to try that one. Uh, but again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.